Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll create this simple piece in FreeCAD as a practical exercise. And we will use these dimensions as a reference to create this model in FreeCAD. So first we create new file. We go to part design workbench, create body, create sketch in YZ plane. In this first sketch, what we want to do is to create a sketch for this face. So we go to sketch geometries and here we select rounded rectangle two and draw this rectangle. Now select this constraint symmetrical and constraint these two points to this origin point. And now let's see the dimensions of this sketch. So in this reference model we see a dimension of 48 and 28 and a pad of 6 and 6 for the edge of this fillet. So we select this tool, click in this arc and here we change the radius to 6. Select this horizontal distance and here we set 48. And the length of this line is 28. Okay, and now leave this sketch. Press on and select this pad tool. Change the link to 6 and OK. And now create a sketch in XZ plane. And here switch to section view, click in this icon. Select this tool and extract this edge. Now select this polyline tool and draw the sketch. Press on three times to get this arc. And now two times to draw a simple line. Press and three times. And now two times. And clicking this endpoint. And now select this tangent constraint and constrain this arc and this line. This arc and this line. And now select this horizontal constraint and constrain this line. Okay, and now select this math constraint tool and constrain these two points to this origin line. Okay, and now we select these two points and make it constant. Okay, and now let's see the dimension for this sketch. In this model, we can see uh, we can see this radius twenty, this dimension fifty seven. D6 and here we have 20. Okay. So select this horizontal distance tool here change to 6. Here we set 20 plus 57. Okay, and now we constrain the the radius of this arc to 6, select this vertical distance, and here click in this line and change the length to 20. Okay, and now this sketch is full constrained, so leave this sketch, click in this icon, press on and select pad tool, check this option, symmetric to plane. So here in this model we see a pad of 20, the value of the pad is 20. So we change this dimension to 20 and click enter. Okay, and now we we select this face and create new sketch. Switch to section view. Click this geometric view. Okay, close this. Go to model and double click in this sketch. Switch to section view. Use this tool to extract this edge. Select this cycle tool and draw this cycle. And here we use this tool to constrain this point to this point horizontal constraint. Close this sketch, press on, and now go to this pad tool, set reverse it, and the length of this pad is. 
we can see here is this value so here we change and click OK and now we create another sketch in in Xplane and here we switch to section view clicking this icon now we use this tool to extract this edge here and also it R tool and do this R now select polling tool and do this this line press M two times and now three times now two times no oh, sorry two times now press M three times And now press two times and click in this point. Okay, now select this vertical constraint tool and constraint this line. Now this horizontal tool and constraint this line here. Now select this tangent constraint and constraint this line to this arc. Now this line in this arc and now this arc and this line okay and now we use this tool to accept for example this edge here and this edge okay so we constrain these two points coincident And here too, we set constant. And we constrain this point to this point. Constant. And now we, we let's see the dimension for, for this sketch. So here we see we see a pad of 8 ok we have this radius 20 in this dimension 57 we have 20 here so select this horizontal distance tool and here change to 5 ok select this tool and here change to 20 select this horizontal distance and here change to, to 57 and now close this sketch select pad tool check this option symmetric to plane and here change length to 8 and click ok so now select this space and go to this tool or tool here we see a diameter of 15 for this wall so we change this dimension to 15 and click ok ok we are having problems here so click cancel and select this space create new sketch use this tool and extract this edge and here we select the cycle tool and draw this cycle select this tool change the diameter here to 15 close this sketch go to pocket tool and here we set triangle and click ok Okay, and now we create a new sketch in in XY plane. Switch to section view, and here we extract this edge and this edge, and we select this cycle 
no this add to and we draw this this up okay the range of this arc is okay so select this polline tool and draw this sketch here concern these two points constant select this tool and make this line vertical Concern these two points, constant. Okay, use this tool and extract this edge here. Concern this point to this point, constant, and and okay. Here we set a range of. Okay, so now what is missing is so okay now pick this tool this horizontal distance tool and here we can say uh, 28 close this sketch and go to pad tool and here we check this option symmetric to plane and here we change length to 5 no e6 click ok and now select this this operation and go to this mirrored feature and here we set we change the plane to why is the plane I think no e exit plane and click ok and now we get this object so now select this face and create new sketch switch to section view and here we select this cycle tool and draw these four cycles select all cycles Make it equal and now select this met constraint tool constraint these two points to this line these two points to this horizontal line these two points to this oh sorry select these two points to this vertical line and now let's see the dimension of these of this cycle so we switch to this view so here we have a uh, range of 5 so the diameter is 10 and this cycle have a diameter of 8 so we come back and select this tool and here we change the diameter to 10 And the distance between the circles is 45 and 25. So first we select this horizontal distance tool and here we set 45. And the vertical distance to 25. So close this sketch and now we select pad tool. We change the length here to 1 millimeters. And click OK. And now to do these, to do these four walls, we select all of these faces. And now we select this tool. Okay, press on. And here we change the diameter to eight. Okay, you can see these results. Click OK and OK, guys. It's all. We finished the design of the spacing free card. Thank you for watching this video.